Cookies is ready, Vicky. Uh, would you have me the oven mitts, please? The oven mitts. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this reminds me when I was a little girl, baking with my mother. And now I'm a mother, baking with my own little robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I feel like you're my own real little girl. Oh, and I love you just as much. Mwah. Love you just as much. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. You're welcome. Oh. Now put the flour in the bowl for me, okay? Okay. <laughs> the flour is in the bowl. Good. I... Oh, Vicky. I guess I should have been more specific. Oh. Oh, well, there's Ted. Oh, he just loves these cookies. He never got very many home-baked goodies when he was a boy. His mother was a disaster in the kitchen. Ooh. Hi, girls. Oh, hi, honey. I have a flower for the pretty lady. Thank you. <laughs> I meant the other pretty lady, the one who controls my electric blanket. <laughs> a flower for the pretty lady. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. oh, and you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that was a sweet thing. Mm. Mm. The flower goes in the bowl. Uh, oh! <laughs> That's a different kind of flower, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else did you learn from Mom today, Vicky? I learned that you never got many home baked goodies when you were a boy. That's true. Your mother was the disaster in the kitchen. <laughs> Joan, it's not nice to tell her that. My mother's baking wasn't all that bad. Oh, you're the one that told me that she used to use her biscuits for a doorstop. <laughs> I never said I used her biscuits for a doorstop. I said I used them for a paperweight. <laughs> Cookie. Uh... Oh, no, 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 down, boy. <laughs> These are for Jamie and his friends. Yeah, his club's having an election, and Jamie is running for president. Our son, the president. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Jamie. How the cookies coming, Mom? Oh, I got two big batches all ready to go, and I'm working on another one. Great. Thanks, Mom. So, Jamie, uh, you think you're going to be elected president? Yeah. Besides these cookies, I helped Billy with his homework. I'm letting Reggie borrow my baseball glove. I bought Kevin a milkshake, and I loaned Willard 75 cents with no interest. <laughs> Isn't that called bribery? Only if you lose. If you win, it's called lobbying. <laughs> you know, honey, I dabbled in politics when I was Jamie's age. Yeah, in fifth grade, I ran for chalkboard monitor. Did you win? No, Gina Pizzarelli did. She kissed all the boys during recess to get votes. Oh, well, maybe that's what you should have done. <laughs> I did. That's why I lost. <laughs> Can Vicky help me take the cookies out to the guys? Well, I guess I couldn't hide a bison. Come on. I guess I couldn't hide bison. <laughs> Here, let me get the door. Thank you. Good luck. Hey, guys. All right! This is my cousin.
and Vicky. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, get out of the way. Give me a break. Thanks for leaving the plates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the meeting of the Fearless Five will now come to order. Hey, wait a minute. Girls aren't allowed. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Vicky. Go in the house. Goodbye, Vicky. Go in the house. <laughs> She's weird. Cute, but weird. <laughs> okay, okay. The meeting will now come to order. Let's start the presidential debate. Jamie, what's your opening statement? Why should we vote for you? You should vote for me because I'm humble but intelligent. <laughs> I think the Fearless Five should fight evil wherever we find it. If we can't find any evil, we should do other stuff instead. <laughs> like go to Richie Kimmelman's house. His dad keeps his gallstones in a jar on the mantle. <laughs> and the Fearless Five should stick together until we die or until we're very old, whichever comes first. <laughs> and remember, the clubhouse is in my backyard, and the cookies are my mother's specialty. Thank you. <laughs> Willard, what's your mother's specialty? Pickle pig's feet. <laughs> I don't think we need to hear your opening statement, Willard. OK, we're ready for the secret revolt. All those in favor of Jamie, raise their hand. Hold it. That's not secret. It is we all close our eyes. If we all close our eyes, who's going to count? How about me? <laughs> Hi, Ernie. I heard the frightened five was having a big election today. It's the fearless five, and this meeting's for members only. So I'm a member, an important member. What are you talking about? I'm your new president. I'm what? Your president. I object. You object? Yeah. If anybody objects, the new president is going to punch his lights out. <laughs> Actually, object isn't quite the word I meant. Approved would be closer. <laughs> That's better. You guys collect dues for the privilege of being in this club, right? Yeah. How much? 25 cents a week. From now on, it's a dollar a week. A dollar! What do we get for our dollar? Protection. A chance to stay alive. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cheap for one of the necessities in life. Breathing. <laughs> I don't have a dollar right now. Me neither. Same here. Hey, I'm understanding. I'm going to give you all till tomorrow to come up with the money. Be sure to be here with the bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know what his mother's specialty is. Raw meat. <laughs> I don't think I'll be getting much sleep tonight. That rotten Ernie, he really bugs me. Get in your cabinet. See you in the morning. See ya in the morning. <laughs> Still awake, huh? Yeah. Vicky in her cabinet? Yeah. Good morning. That was a short night. <laughs> no, it's still night, Vicky. Are you okay? I'm okay. Jamie is not okay. Rotten Ernie really begs him. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. We thought something might be wrong. You were so quiet at dinner. You didn't even make that slurpy sound with your soup. <laughs> Who's Rotten Ernie? Why does he bug you? Oh, he's this big, mean bully. He elected himself president of our club, and if all of us don't pay him a dollar a week, he'll beat us up. Why, well, that's terrible. Worse, it's expensive. <laughs> Jamie, every kid runs into a bully sooner or later. You just have to know how to deal with him. I know how. Can we move? <laughs> Jamie, running away is not the answer. You have to stand up to this, Ernie, and try to talk it over. Dad, it's hard to talk while you're sucking on a guy's fist. <laughs> well, I'm sure his bark is worse than his bite. Mm. You just tell him that you're not going to give him any money. And if he threatens you, you just walk away. That has one advantage. He'll never see what hit him. <laughs> <laughs> see, even 
she knows what'll happen to me. Well, I don't want you fighting, Jamie. Got it? I'm sure you won't have to pay him a dollar. Night, honey. Night. Sweet dreams. Night, Jamie. Night, Dad. Joni, hmm? I'll be there in just a minute, okay? Jamie, your mother's absolutely right. Fighting is not the way to solve a problem. But just between us, if somebody attacks you, you should at least be able to defend yourself. Just between us? You go to sleep. I don't sleep. Well, fake it. Fake it. <laughs> All right, Jamie. I'm going to show you how to protect yourself. Now, I know this Ernie is bigger than you are, but you have to remember that speed is more important than size. I found that out when I was your age. You beat up a kid because you were so fast? No, I was big and he was fast. <laughs> you raise my allowance a dollar a week. <laughs> Jamie, I really don't want you to get in a fight with this bully. But just in case there's no way out, let old dad uh, show you a few pointers, all right? Okay. Let me use this to demonstrate. Okay. Now, Bobo is the bully. So your best weapon is what we call the old one-two punch. Now, what you do is you jab with your left hand like that. And before he has time to react, you cross with the right like that, see? It goes something like this. You, uh, you get the idea, Jamie. <clears throat> yeah, the bobo just got in a lucky punch. <laughs> All right, Jamie, yeah, you try it here. It's not going to be that easy, Dad. Yeah, I know, I know. Just give it a try here. Okay, is this right? Okay, that's right. Okay, jab at it. Okay, now keep, keep your left up a bit. That's right, that's, that's, that's right. <clears throat> just keep practicing and you'll have it in no time, Jamie. <clears throat> but just remember, Jamie, this is only for self-defense. Don't worry. I'm not starting a fight with anything I can't let the air out of. <laughs> Good night, Jamie. Vicky, wake up and open your eyes. I'm not asleep. I'm faking it. <laughs> Come here. Now watch. This is how I'm going to handle that bully tomorrow if I have to. Okay, listen, Ernie. You're not getting my dollar, see? And you don't scare me. Hey, get your hands off me. <laughs> okay, if you want to live dangerously. <clears throat> now get up and apologize and listen up, because a big J doesn't say things twice. This backyard isn't big enough for the both of us, see? So just hustle your tail out of here and don't come back. <laughs> <Understand>? <laughs> I don't see him. Hey, you guys. Maybe Ernie will forget what he said yesterday, and he won't show up. Maybe he was just trying to scare us. Well, he didn't scare me, and I'm not giving him any dollar. Hey, there's five of us. He can't make us pay if we all stick together. Yeah. The vital will fall. One by one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. I'm with Jamie. Well, I'll tell him no. You know, I was really that scared yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> Not as scared as I am today. <laughs> Lucky for you guys, you're all here. Hand over your money. Any questions? Yeah. You before a dollar bill, four quarters. <laughs> hey, what happened to sticking together? That's what I'm trying to do. Keep my hair sticking to my body. <laughs> Was your shrimp? I'm not gonna give it to you. How'd you like me to tear your shirt in half? I've got more shirts. While you're in it. <laughs> Look, Ernie, we don't have to fight. We just have a little disagreement. We don't have to hurt each other over a little dollar, right? Right, we don't have to hurt each other. I'm just gonna hurt you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I can handle myself. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I gotta talk to Dad about that one-two punch. That one-two punch? Yeah. I only got as far as one. <laughs> I'm glad Mom and Dad are out shopping. She's gonna be real mad when she finds out I was fighting. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Where'd you hear that? A John Wayne movie on television. <laughs> well, I sure don't feel like John Wayne right now. I feel more like Boy George. <laughs> I gotta fork over that dollar unless I want my nose closer to my ear. <laughs> Your nose closer to your ear. I'll fix Ernie. I'll give him the dollar all in pennies. Biggie, come here and count out a dollar for me. Count out a dollar. Do you think Mom and Dad will notice if I wear these around the house for the next two weeks? <laughs> Careful, Vicky. I'll get them. Reach him. Vicky, lift the bed. Lift it. <laughs> Boy, you really are strong. <laughs> Wait a minute. Put it down, Vicky. That's it. How dumb can I be? I'm not programmed for that information. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've got a great idea. Vicky, now watch closely. This is a punch, see? A punch? Yeah. Now you punch the bobo as hard as you can. Got it? As hard as I can. Vicky, you're gonna teach Shop Bobo Ernie a lesson. Got it? Got it. <laughs> well, what have we got here? Another club member? I can always use an extra dollar a week. She's not giving you a dollar, Ernie, and neither am I. Listen, Trim, don't you ever learn your lesson? You bucking for intensive care? <laughs> That was just a lucky punch, big mouth. <laughs> Jamie, I think you got the big mouth on the wrong guy. <laughs> Ernie just thinks he's so tough. He's a pushover, a marshmallow. Oh, You're making me really mad, kid. Jamie, if he kills you, can I have your baseball glove? <laughs> You know, I'm not afraid of this turkey. Even my cousin Vicky can handle him. <laughs> this kid's a sawed-off Bob Hope. <laughs> Vicky, do your thing. Do my thing. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> the big J. Hang him up on that hook, Vicky. Man, I don't believe this. Really? Vicky, show Ernie your punch. Ernie, this is my punch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Big J? Just name it, I'll do it. First, give us our money back. You got it. You got it. Here. Have some of mine, too. <laughs> okay, take him down, Vicky. Now get out of here, Ernie, and never come back. Don't worry. I'd rather go to the moon. You come back and you will. <laughs> Let go, Vicky. Man, that little chick must be on steroids. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Jamie, how did that hole get in the garage door? 
Must have been made by a really small car. <laughs> Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Oh, uh, when I open the refrigerator to get my milk, the little light hurts my eyes. <laughs> Is that so? Take them off. But, Mom, I... Oh. Oh, Jamie, your eye. He feels like boy, George. <laughs> been fighting with that boy. All right, that does it. I'm going to go tell his father off. How big is his father? <laughs> Never mind, I'm going. Oh, you're not going anywhere. It's all right, Dad. It's all taken care of. Ernie won't be bothering us anymore. You mean you won? You could say that. All right, that's my... You know, I don't approve of your fighting, Jamie. <laughs> You don't like this one bit. Fighting's wrong. It won't happen again. Right, Jamie? Right, Dad. So, you finally have your club elections? Yeah, we sure did. Well, it sounds like the other boy won. No, Willard didn't win. Neither did I. Then who won? I am the president of the Fearless Five. <laughs> you? I am Fearless Number Six. <laughs> I thought girls weren't allowed in your club. They are if they can punch a hole in the door. <laughs> punch a hole in the door. She'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small.